I'd ridden a bike as a child, but I had not ridden a bike as an adult ever. I'd never ridden on the streets in New York, and I think the idea of riding outdoors was so overwhelming. I, I couldn't even imagine. I have a, a picture <laughs> of me standing over the bike with my little dog in the basket on the front, and my big goal was to be able to ride around the block a few times, maybe on the weekends. Um, kind of where it started. From cruiser bike with a basket on the front to racing in Central Park took about eight months. My name is Anna Maria and I have an online cycling magazine called Pretty Damn Fast. My friend Taylor and I that started the website and we saw a lot of compelling cycling content for men and we saw content for women that was focused on safety, media that was designed for women but focused on women as sort of novice riders or women you know, just as athletes. So sports stats, race results. We wanted something that was, I don't know, beautiful and aspirational and showcasing the lifestyle that we saw our friends and peers participating in. I just was riding bikes with a lot of pretty damn fast women. <laughs> If you are going to meaningfully participate in cycling, you are going to come across issues that are going to give you pause just in gaining access and respect and parity in the sport. Feminism is really important. There are still some crazy dark ages things floating around the cycling world. There are podium girls in the professional sport and you know there is the experience of being a woman in, in bike shops which are predominantly run by men, staffed by men. You do not see a lot of women owned and operated bike shops. You don't see a lot of women mechanics and you know I think that that, that affects you know how many women you see out riding. It's not just women commuting you know you need to have that participation across the board you know from the, the boardroom to the bike shop to the sport to the bike lane.